Why do we do this? Hey sleepyheads, I'm Trace and you're tuned in to D-News. Yawning is contagious, we know it, we've talked about it here on D-News. It has to do with the ability of the human brain to empathize with other humans. Ossitation, or the act of yawning, occurs in almost every vertebrate. Even little teeny birds make yawning motions. Contagious yawning has been spotted in chimpanzees, dogs, cats, wolves, koalas, zebras, baboons, leopards, seals, hippos, bears, and obviously, well-adjusted adult humans. Science doesn't think infants are subject to contagious yawning, nor are people with certain levels of autism, suggesting that yawning is a social behavior. But we're not here to talk about contagious yawns, we're here to find out, oh God, why, why we do it at all. First, oscitation is an involuntary action controlled by our hypothalamus. During a yawn, we open our mouth wide, we pulse our sinuses like bellows. We suck in a large amount of air, expand our chest cavity, pull down our diaphragm, fill our lungs, and then slightly exhale. The act itself is usually associated with being tired or as a symbol of boredom in humans. But in animals, yawning can be associated with sexual arousal, fear, uncertainty, mating rituals, and even as a warning sign to other animals, perhaps as a way to passively show large teeth to the enemy. But why do we oscitate? Science has a number of competing theories on why we yawn. The first recorded theory was from Hippocrates. He theorized yawning was a way to get good air in and bad air out. While yes, the little used lower lobes of the lungs are filled during yawning, research has indicated that the function has little to do with filling the lungs with oxygen. So that myth, no. In the 17 and 18th centuries, doctors thought yawning was a way to regulate the heart rate and the amount of oxygen in the blood. Yes, yawning does suck in a lot of air, but tests have shown that neither heart rate, sweating, nor electrical activity in the brain improve post-yawn. Plus, patients who were given oxygenated air neither yawned more or less than those who are breathing air with normal amounts of oxygen, showing that we are not trying to fix a blood O2 problem. Some psychologists believe that we yawn to indicate our level of alertness to members of our social group. Think about it like a herd mentality. It's important to know who is the most alert and when. This outward expression of sleepiness can also help regulate circadian rhythms within a pack. The current prevailing theory has to do with how the sinuses behave during yawning. Remember I mentioned that they're like bellows. They're rapidly pumping air across the front of the brain. So maybe, thought scientists, just maybe, Yawning is the brain's version of central air. We are cooling our CPU. A study in evolutionary psychology saw that holding a cold pack to the head decreased contagious yawning by 32%. Ultimately, we have no idea why we yawn. But as of today, scientists think that it might be to cool our gray matter. But hey, considering the history on this topic, maybe we're all wrong. Why do you think we yawn? Tell us about it, and we'll see you next time you decide to stop by D News again, which we hope is soon. Thanks, I'm Trace. Catch you later.